chat, this is something different. I've never done anything like this before, but we're going to do it because it just seemed too good not to. This is like, I, I say it's a lost Super Mario Brothers comic and cassette. I don't know how lost it is, but a chat member sent this over my way. C Spicer, thank you for this. And um, essentially what it is, is some comic from the early 90s. I've got some information I can show you that had a full narration on cassette. So here's the front of it. Super Mario Brothers Adventures, produced by Radio Arts Productions. And here's the back of it. So 1991 Random House. Now keep in mind, this is not the Super Show, necessarily, and it's before Charles Martinet. Here's the back cover. Here's the trading cards. Like, Everyone here looks pretty normal, kinda. However, the princess, for some reason, her pupils are just like orange. So that's not good. And uh, Luigi looks a little off too. It's like overly dilated, maybe not the pupils, but like, I don't know, something's weird with Luigi, but yeah. And then there's some like, bios and stuff like luigi's um a bit quieter than mario but the shy, shy tall plumber always comes through in a pinch to pull his boisterous brother out of hot water hobbies plumbing 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 and helping mario with plumbing <laughs> well that's good he likes a couple things we got a maze here Here's this, if you need all this stuff. It's basically published by Random House. Um, this book reprints four stories from the Super Mario Brothers Valiant comics with narration and voice actors using the cassette to read aloud to you. And there's some sound effects ripped straight from Mario Brothers 3 game. And I believe, I listened to like a minute of this, it sounded like some of the music from the Deke show, but... Um, the voice actors are different. They just used different people that were uncredited for their efforts. So, very interesting. Well, I know this is going to be a little bit different, but I'm just going to kind of let the tapes play. And, uh, here we go. Solve the maze. Uh, no. Super Mario Brothers, a Nintendo comic and cassette published by Are those Random supposed to be House. toads? No, those are just, like, sentient mushrooms. What the fuck? The Legend. Far beyond the world we know lies the magical Mushroom Kingdom. There, the mushroom people lived in peace. But there's ruled toads by and the like kindly mushroom king and his mushrooms? daughter, Princess Toadstool. Little did they realize that evil was growing in their midst. The freedom-loving <laughs> fungi were menaced by the forces of tyranny. The biggest troublemaker was a revolting reptile and a despicable despot. Oh, that shit. callous, cold-blooded creep, King Bowser Koopa. Who were you expecting? The Tooth Fairy? <laughs> okay, hang on. That's like my... Yeah, that's like my voice and choicest voice for Bowser. But there you go. That's him. Uh, chat, there are confirmed new mushroom variants, or Mario is eating living mushrooms when he plays the game, when we play the game. Toad, the royal mushroom retainer, wondered who would save the kingdom. Good question, huh? The kind, gentle, demure Princess Toadstool called for help. Help! Help! And step on it, okay? Fortunately, word reached the ears I can't of wait two to hear what they sound like. champions of goodness and right. Two men who hungered for justice and thirsted for freedom. Help! help. Chat, they're, they're literally just using... Sorry to pause. I'm going to try not to pause too much. I probably will, but here's the deal. They are using gameplay sounds from someone playing Mario 3, including them using the fucking Fire Flower. It's gonna get a little distracting, in my opinion. 
Mario, a man of great courage and determination, and his brother Luigi, who, though shy, was always willing to rise to a challenge. He likes plumbing. This is where the legend ends and the adventure begins. The Super Mario Brothers defeated the forces of evil. However, King Koopa wasn't going to take defeat lying down. Plunged into despair by a pair of plumbers. All my evil plans flush down the drain, but I'll get them for this. Our heroes knew that just like water in a clogged Smug sink, toad on the right. The call Good face. for help would rise again. Emo. Remember, the best laid pipes of mushrooms and men are bound in time to burst. But in the meantime, when do we eat? Oh God! <laughs> New Mario Luigi voices just dropped. Wow. Uh, Vinny, you should read it. No, no, we're playing the tape. That's the point. Thank you, though. I'm glad you like my Mario voices. That's it. No, there's more. Um, Here we go, chat. Here's the story. Magic Carpet Madness. One sunny day in the land of the mushroom of water. people, Mario and Luigi were helping the Mushroom King in his garden. Drink up, my little beauties, so you'll grow up to be strong and long-stemmed. Hey, Mario, the king knows the name of every flower in his garden. Big <laughs> deal, Luigi, they're all named Bud. Oh, drat the phone. That sounds oh, familiar. Like Feels like rain. Good thing we're mushrooms. <laughs> One of the toad voices is pretty good. Oh god, quiet! This is so much all right, noise! All right, I'm coming! Why does the phone always ring when I'm busy? Hello? Hello? Is your refrigerator running? Better go and catch it! Oh! Oh, Koopa, you oh, wascally dino. Oh, smart! <laughs> But it was worth it. <laughs> you silly fuck. Dream! Daddy! Huh? Princess Toadstool? Uh-oh! Haven't you ever heard of a doormat? Look at our beautiful carpets. You and that garden. Why can't you just grow old like everybody else? Oh, just shit! Then, Mario and Luigi came to the open palace door and saw the king's muddy footprints all over the That's not the peach the I know. Mario, look! Free dance lessons! The brothers started matching their own footsteps with the muddy footprints on the carpet. What do you call this dance? The Funky King? Oh, uh, the Funky King! Hello, information? I need the name of a good carpet cleaner. Later that afternoon, and then four just black suddenly, birds arrived like dungeon at the music. They didn't the put any effort into Pigeons the music. Almost always travel on flying carpets, so they really know about carpet care. This is the place. Come on, we've got a carpet to clean. Aren't these Mario Two enemies? Hey, what if it's a wall-to-wall -wall carpet? Luigi, hey, there's shit everywhere. Time. Everywhere. Left foot. Right foot, hop, hop, hop. This way, gang. If it looks like a carpet, clean it. Dibs on the shag. Dibs on the Persian rug. Look, free dance lessons. Okay, let her rip. Without context, it kind of looks like they're in the bath together. Just bros and taking now, a bath together. The bubble bath boogaloo. <laughs> the bros being bros. Meanwhile, out in the carpet cleaner's van, a mysterious green hand pours flying carpet juice into the rinsing machine. I know whose green hand that is. And the machine's hose leads Ninja right Turtle. to the royal carpets. My little guys must almost be finished shampooing the rug. <laughs> now it's time to add the conditioner. The Pidgets were soon finished Fucking and began getting ready to leave. Princess Toadstool came in with a plate full of cookies. 
The carpets look beautiful. You did a wonderful job. Here's a cookie. Thanks. 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 <sighs> Extra chocolate chips. She loves me. A water level now. Looks like trouble underfoot. This is going to be excellent. I, I really think they're just playing through it wasn't Mario too 3. Long after the pitch uncut. Left that the Mario Brothers realized something was unusual about the carpets. Suddenly, Luigi found himself looking up at Mario. <laughs> That's Wait. funny. I always thought I was the tall one. So did I. Hey, guys, I think my rug has the hiccups. What the? Yo, look out! Runaway carpet! Our heroic... That Mario voice sounds Toast familiar. ...found themselves standing on wobbly carpets that were floating in midair. Yikes! Yikes? What kind of word is that? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Desperately trying to keep their balance, the Mario brothers found themselves waving their arms wildly. Great. The carpet's floating away and all you guys can think about is dancing. Yeah! Princess Toadstool's carpet gently took her up through the palace skylight, while the Mario brothers were trapped by their carpet against the ceiling. Great! Who left the skylight open? I'm huh. tired of being swept under the rug. As Princess Toadstool floated higher into the sky, she looked down to the palace roof where she saw her old enemy, Bowser Koopa, with some of his hench pigeons. But what was his plan here, just to send the... <laughs> Amazing! Some clouds look so lifelike. Princess Toadstool floated up past clouds and some curious birds. Hey, Dad, what kind of bird is that? Hmm. I think it's some kind of hmming bird. Up oh, Princess Toadstool went, through the Ozone, through the oh no zone up even to the Koopa Zone. Oh, no. What about a warp oh, zone? Gosh darn gall bang dag nab. Just Whoa. then, two of Koopa's pigs floated up on mini flying carpets and began to hypnotize Princess Toadstool. At last, the girl of our dreams. Evil dreams, that is. Double golly gosh darn dag nabbit fudge. You are getting <laughs> sleepy. Yeah, but you know, as a kid, in your mind, that's weird that they that's weird that they kind of censored that because in your mind, as a kid, you're gonna be like, you know, it's poop or shit. Flying carpet. Don't worry, Luigi. This little gadget will get us out of here. What is it? A carpet cutter? Nope. Pocket vacuum cleaner. Again. Oh no, Mario! The Mario brothers rushed outside and found the Mushroom King working in his garden. I must remember to tell Mario about the amazing cloud I saw. Oh, red alert to Green Thumminess! The princess has floated away. She's probably in the Koopa Zone by now. Suddenly, that princess double face didn't look down on her carpet. Like he was just looking in two directions to me. But there was something different about her. Why the she? King was shocked by why her she like new cool now? Her appearance. <laughs> what? My baby. Is it a punk Where rock art? go wrong? It's what not season was fault, it? King. The pigeons used their evil dreams to make her sleep fry and change her clothes too. Ah! Get out of the air, bird ah! brain! You're cramping my carpet. Punk teenager. Sweet Princess Toadstool had undergone a complete transformation. We've got to wake her up. Great. Know where we can get a flying alarm clock? I've got to sit down and think about this. Mario sat down on a bag of fertilizer. Unbeknownst to him, not a product of Koopa Company. And hungry bean seeds lapped it up. Unnoticed by Mario, a healthy bean plant began to grow in back of him. Boy, was in I back hungry. of him. An enormous beanstalk burst out of the ground bean. and grew rapidly up to the this sky. This grub bean, big if bean. Only there was some way to climb up to her. Luigi had seen the huge plant and was already. Is it okay if it's up. vines? Come on, Mario! Last one up is a jolly green giant. No fair! The king came over to admire his latest vegetable triumph. Ah, the beans are coming in nicely this year. This bean have big crow. 
Meanwhile, the altered Princess Toadstool was terrorizing the skies. <laughs> this is what happens when you listen to punk rock, Whatever everybody. What happened to the friendly skies? Uh-oh. Isn't that... I can't look. Princess Toadstool flew her magic carpet right through the bad year blimp, punching a hole in it. Go on and die it, you blimp! She had been so busy with the blimp that she forgot to watch where she was flying. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. She hit the beanstalk Good at Foley. full force. The king watched in horror from the ground as his beloved daughter fell through the air. The Hinden oh, bean. no! But the jolt must have broken her trance. That was a nice nap. Where are my slippers? Can't you float? Oh, where's the floor? We, we can't, can't look. look! But the king had things well under control, with the help of a few friends, of course. Don't worry, my little princess. Daddy's got you. Yo, Mushroom, Mushroom King, you're not even in the games. The on a blanket oh, wait, he is kind of. It looked like the princess was her old self again. Daddy, yeah, he's in three. You can track mud into the house anytime you want. A happy ending. Somehow, though, I can't help wondering where Koopa was during all this. Koopa was on, rather, in the ground, not far away, where he had landed hard. <laughs> My blimp! Punk teenagers! Told you about that punk rock. There you go. That's one story. Do you want the other two stories, chat? Because we got two more. They're like little self-contained Mario episodes. Wait a minute, are people saying no? This is the chat right now, wanting more. They want more Mario content. And the people that are saying no are like tiny beans that can't be seen. A run around zoo. See, that's another Mario 3 thing I was about to mention, day, like the kings the that got people, turned into Mario animals. Mario and Toad burst in to see the Mushroom King. They looked upset and were ripping, clinging vines off their clothes. I don't know, maybe it's me. I just don't like being ambushed by a bush. I'm telling you, Toad, the piranha plants are planning a revolution of one kind or another. King, King, the plants are revolting. I've always thought so. Did you lose weight, King? That's a good look for you. Koopa has turned me into a chameleon, Mario. Oh, that's a chameleon. I need the magic wand to turn me back. And you two guys just got volunteered. Sire, I understand that being a lizard can't be pleasant, but there is a revolution brewing. This is important, Sire. There was a fly buzzing in the air, and the chameleon mushroom king ate it hungrily. Right into the butthole mouse. mouse. It's a good fly, but not great. <laughs> not mouse. You know what I mean? Zaya, the only place to get a magic wand is the Piranha Plant headquarters on World One. Another fly had landed on Mario's. Mario's hat, aware of there the being different worlds. King began sneaking up on it. Cool. If you're not going to eat that fly, do you mind? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Selfish. I shouldn't give you this, then. The Mushroom King dropped a green gem into Mario's hand. What's that? This is the green gecko gem. It will put a force... New Mario on lore unlocked. Only the strongest enemies can break through. Why does Mario look but insane? The downside. You cannot touch anyone else. Is that it? Oh, there's some loose talk that if it falls into the wrong hands, it'll mean total destruction of all the kingdoms. Same thing we've heard before. Soon Mario and Toad were on their way to get the magic wand. Holding the green gecko gem, Mario was surrounded by a protective force field. Listen, I've got an idea of what we can do. First, okay? Mm, 
That might work if they try anything. Protected by his force field, Mario easily sped through dangerous areas, squashing Goombas and anything else he Koopas. landed on. Poor little Toad struggled to keep up. Excuse me, Mario. Could you slow down a little? Not in this life. Could be worse. Last time I got squashed, I was toe jammed for a week. You know, not everyone has the green gecko jam to help them along. <laughs> they don't? Well, they should. <laughs> yeah. A group of That's friendly how you say trees yuck, yuck. nearby didn't like oh, the way I didn't Mario know that. was acting. Nasty Mario. Not nice. Him mean. I concur fully. Wait, Mario! Wait for me! As Toad raced after Mario, he was suddenly stopped by a slimy green piranha plant. Did this chat won't fuck this plant. Around here mentioned the green gecko. How interesting. It gives me an idea. Hold on there, little guy. That plumber guy doesn't treat you very well, does he? Oh, Mario? Mario's my friend. I hear that Mario has a powerful little gem. Oh, is that a euphemism? So what? So, I'd much rather see that green gecko gem in the proper hands. Your hands. Mushroom hands. Is this like Wouldn't Lord of the like Rings? Wouldn't you have all that power? As Toad watched Spellbound, Piranha Sue conjured up a delightful daydream about Toad being the king, sitting on a throne next to his beautiful I still don't queen. understand why the mushrooms have faces oh, and arms. You made me a slime malted. How nice. With extra granite, just the way you like it. Ew, granite, Hail what are you king talking Toad. about? We live to serve. Boy, I wish I could dream up more ways to serve King Toad. You and me both. I live to grovel. Wait a second. You want me to betray everything I hold dear? Just for a few fleeting moments of power? Sure. What are friends for? Okay. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pleasant working with reasonable... Toad powers. has absolutely no moral compass. And, and no willpower. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mario is far ahead, He would have taken the ring to Mordor and put it Let's on see. while still in the Shire. Under this block. Mario was showered by gold coins. There are such things as priorities. Well, look at this Nearby, full page. Piranha Sue had just finished explaining her evil plan to Toad. So, all I have to do is act like I'm about to fall into the waterfall? Yeah, that's it. Unaware of the nefarious plot Piranha Sue was hatching, Mario continued to gather his coins on the other side of the mountain. Come to Papa! Daddy needs a new adjustable socket wrench set! Hmm. Meanwhile, far below You just kind of get used to the Mario 3 gameplay. Angry plants hurled revolutionary words. Our revolution will proceed much faster than planned. And that idiot mushroom believes we would just hand the green gecko gem over to him. Soon we will have the gem. Unlimited power. Then we'll be free of Koopa once and for all. Uh, we will rule the world. I like we that there's another faction. The multiverse. And more multiverse? More than one bathroom in What? <laughs> this is 30 years ago, dog. I hear cheering. No, you don't. Get in the water. Remember, Mario will see you drowning and... They had to, like, do toad pee-pee sla splash then noises. I'll, um, hold on to it until you're safe. I don't deserve a buddy as good as you! Meanwhile, Mario is near the end of his mission. At last! Here's the magic wand! Now, back to Toadie. Hope he's used his oh, time Oh, calls him Toadie as a nickname. That's new. New lore. Oh, no. He's going over that waterfall. Oh, I hope he's wearing his diaper in still. Boying, Mario looked down to see his friend in danger. Is there any particular reason you're in that creek? Let's talk about it in great detail after you've pulled me out. I can't grab you as long as I'm holding the gem. You know that. Mario, no kidding. I'm beginning to slip. Lose the stupid gem already. No can do, buddy of mine. Someone could steal the gem. Mario, forget. No <laughs> Love this panel. Toadie! At the oh my god, they choked Toad. The water, Mario did the only thing he could do. 
He dropped the wand and the green gecko gem. The gem's mine. Sure enough, Piranha Sue had snatched the gem from midair. Mario and a dripping toady looked at oh, her in man. disbelief. Keep calling him toady. Now the narrator's calling him toady. And here's the magic wand, too. The dripping toady. To <laughs> Look at the face. Normal. He's been turned into a lizard. And tell him to avoid the green flies. They're the worst. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, but exactly when do I get the gem? You fool. Now I am invincible. All the piranha plants are invincible. As of today, I rule the world. Told! A green hand had snatched Piranha Sue around the neck. So you're leader of the world, huh? Did I say that? You know... I've had a tough day. First, some plumber guy throws a plunger at me, yelling, Yeah, yeah, you can't catch me. I chased that moron for miles. Stub a claw doing it. And now I find you talking about <laughs> world conquest. World! You thought I was talking about conquering it for me. No, 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 no. Well, Mr. Koopa, King, sir, <laughs> for you... We got a magic wand and a magic gem. Just because, well, because you're you. Magic wand? Magic gem? Cheesy trinkets like those are nothing to Koopa the Great and Powerful. Look at this. Brooklyn Plumbing Novelty Company. Oh, that's the name of their company. Serving Confirmed. Your plumbing novelty needs for nearly 100th of a century. You that one year? When Piranha Sue threw the gem away, Mario <laughs> and Toad quietly leaped on it. The gem was theirs again. You mean the gem and the wand are useless? Not at all. This wand makes an excellent pedal bender. Let's try, shall we? Oh, shit. While Koopa was occupied, Koopa has turned on his Piranha minion. Sue, he tossed the magic wand aside. Mario and Toadie grabbed it and ran for Why is his lives. name just Toadie now? <laughs> well, I've got to hand it to you, Toad. Your plan worked. Toad, now protected by the force field, easily kept up with Mario as they raced back to the palace. <laughs> I can't think of anything in the universe dumber than a man-eating plant. I knew what she was up to all along. <laughs> we need to throw Toad back into the river. Toad fucking sucks. The Mushroom King, still trapped in his chameleon form, was thrilled to see Mario and Toad return to the palace. Mario! Toady! It's good to see someone who won't walk all over me. Well, you do tend to blend into the background, sir. Mario quickly used the magic wand on the king. I'm normal. I'm normal again. Only technically, sir. <laughs> Just then, a plump fly flew by, and the king automatically stuck out his tongue. More lizard crunchies, sire? Yeah, eat bugs. Eat plump bugs. That was pretty good. I would have loved this if I had this as a kid. Like, whether it be the cassette or just the comic. But this is actually really fun. Uh, there's only one more. Another 10 minutes. Let's do it. Whoa, is that, for drink is that like Super Luigi? It, who is this? Dirk Head? Dirk Drain Head. <laughs> it just looks like Luigi in, in a superhero outfit. Same here. I like Dirk Head better. <laughs> Dirk Diggler's competition. Even the Super Mario Brothers get to goof off once in a while. Mario lay in bed surrounded by comic books. Wow, I've just spent the last 72 hours reading Dirk Drainhead comic books. A new record! The scary thing is, I'd do it all over again. Maybe I'll take a nap first, though. Mario! It's an emergency! Oh. Mario! Get out of bed! Get out of bed! Uh, uh, Luigi? Oh. Is it a week later already? Quick! Toad's been kidnapped by Koopa! Toad? Little Toad? Yes! And you know what we're going to do, don't you? Write a strong letter to the Mushroom Times. 
three in the morning. Mario slumped back in bed and pulled a pillow over himself. Luigi had no choice but to race off alone. You got ten minutes. Ah, I wish Dirt Drainhead were here. He'd know what to do. Mario wears his shoes in bed. That's right. Eight minutes later, Chad Luigi moved. returned with the tools necessary for the job. An alarm clock, cold water, and a plunger. Okay, princess, we have to wake Mario. This could get ugly. I just wanted to try. There are people like Vinny, I would like to see you read through this, but you don't understand. This is actually a video. Like, I don't know if um, the person who sent this put the audio to the comic, which is really cool if you did. But uh, yeah, it's all baked in together. I don't want to mute. I'm enjoying this. I don't want to be the, I don't want to be the entertainment here. Hey, princess, we have to wake Mario. This could get ugly. Mario? <clears throat> oh, you are mistaken, my friend. I am Dirk Drainhead. Oh, he's delirious. A stalwart fungus needs my help. Luigi, could I talk to you a second? Mario sometimes sleepwalks and thinks he's Dirk Drainhead, then disappears for hours. That's terrible. We better keep Th this him the up whole for time. His own good. No problem. There's no way that Mario's smart enough to sneak out of that room. Unbeknownst to Luigi, Mario had red already overalls. snuck out yeah. of his room and was fast escaping from sight. Early Mario had red overalls Mario? and blue shirt. Mario! Dirt Drainhead Action Plumber shall seek out the enemy! Wow! He's almost to the horizon! Okay, this is a problem. But not a big one. I feel like Luigi's voice changed from to tape. Some action. Dirk's on the case. The first tape we to now. We've seen this coming. He's been hiding his Dirk comics all over the castle. That's just Don't porn, worry. princess. We're fine if Mario doesn't think he's rescuing Dirk's teenage comedic sidekick, Snakey. <laughs> chat, chat. Oh, sweet. comedic. Sidekick. Please, please, someone take a picture of this Luigi. Like, th this is a good Luigi. And even the fingers are good. Okay, thank I you. Snakey. Oh, snakey, New Ouija snakey, discovered. Snakey, 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 it's all my fault. Mario bounced off, plunger in hand while nearby Shy Guys planned their enemy strategy. Here's the A-plan. You attack from the front, and I'll take the rear. Mario knocked out his attackers with mighty blows. What's the B-plan? If I don't rescue you, Snakey, I'll never plunge again. Wants to plunge Birdo right in the face. Luigi, is Dirk smarter than Mario? Well... Almost everyone is. Oh, fuck. Meanwhile, Mario was approaching Koopa's castle, still Mario just... sleepwalking in his dirt. Oh, I can't believe dream, that. Attacking sparks, shy guys, and anything else that stood in his way. You understand my dire yet tragic foes. It is not you that I am personally going after. Bigger things are at stake here. With awesome power comes better than average responsibility. Suffering. The question of my purpose. I must struggle on. What a monologue. Like this all day if you let him. Yeah, you gotta kill him. <laughs> it's the only way to shut him up. It, yeah, it's Don Quixote. Quixote, sorry. Princess Toadstool and Luigi followed Mario's trail of destruction toward Koopa's castle. This wow. And if he read Baron Wait, why are those blood? bullet bills white? You're not going to recite the last issue again, are you? This reminds me. Mario's having some friends over next week. Look out, princess! Ahead! Some of Mario's victims limped angrily toward the castle. We're going to Koopa, and we're telling. Your brother's in big trouble now. He doesn't play fair. I got a paper cut. Wanna see? <laughs> 
That's what they sound like. How much trouble are we in with Koopa? Koopa certainly had reason to be upset. All around them were the broken remains of Mario's overenthusiastic acting out of his superhero life. You know, it's going to be real hard smoothing out this finish. I'm a bit embarrassed about this. Luigi. No, Luigi, you don't understand. I was on Ambien. A lizard. Don't try to top me. It makes me this. do weird things. Elsewhere in Koopa's castle, Mario was trying to get through the Ostro, which was guarding Koopa. Ostro. My friend, violence is not the answer. What? The first man to raise a fist was Look the, the face. first one to yeah, run get out of ideas. Koopa's guard lay in a dizzy eggs. heap when Mario Smelly. was through with him. Koopa, third door to the left. Watch that third step. It's plunge. So get plunged, Birdo. Mario Ostro, Ostro. way to Koopa's door. This is the moment Sneaky depends on me the most. I'll not fail him, or my name isn't Dirk Drainhead. Yeah, so when my pal Why does Mario this one look comes, familiar? You'll be sorry. The kingdom's most wanted is on the tube, and I want to catch that. What time is it? It's plunging time. Release <laughs> Snakey. Who's Snakey? I think that's you, kid. Stand back, Snakey. This is not your battle. Well, please don't call me Snakey. That's a kind of name that might stick. I feel like Koopa could just step on Mario. Several hours later, cold, wet, hungry, and annoyed, Luigi and the princess slink back to the castle. I don't believe it. Koopa was nowhere to be found. I don't care about Koopa. Where are Mario and Toadie? Toadie we'll again. Back in the morning and yows! Luigi and Princess Toadstool couldn't believe their eyes. Right in the king's throne room were Mario, Toadie, and Koopa. And for some reason, Koopa seemed to be waiting on them hand and claw. Wait, what? The king confided Why? to Luigi. <laughs> Frankly, Mario scares me. He's spooky. Is it me, or do I detect milk film on this glass? Daddy... Why is Koopa serving us grape sodas with little paper umbrellas? He's, uh, detail-oriented? He's what? being nice to make up for all the trouble he used to cause. Don't believe right. it. Just keep that nut with the plunger away from me. What? Mario's done a good thing this time. The kingdom will finally get a lasting peace. Should we tell Koopa that Mario's asleep? It's wrong to lie. I can live with that. Look, Toadstool, world peace is okay, but I'm missing the kingdom's most wanted. You're right. Yeesh. A wooster fetch the royal TV. My, Koopa seems more <laughs> civilized now, Daddy. In just a few more years, he might learn to eat with utensils. No, probably not you that. You sound like my mother. Frankly, Mario is more valuable asleep than awake. Thanks, Mario. Without thinking, the Mushroom King gave Mario a hearty slap on the back, jolting him awake. So many good faces. I think you just woke up Mario. He was sleepwalking. Oh, where am I? Mario captured me single-handedly <laughs> in his sleep? Well, <laughs> kinda. I'm leaving. I can't believe I blew my whole afternoon with you guys. Th that Hi, was Princess. awesome. <laughs> Hi, Luigi. Hi, Koopa. <laughs> hey, is Koopa supposed to be here? So, when are we going to rescue Toady? The next time I'm kidnapped. Guys? Guys? Mario was baffled. Everyone seemed to be fed up with him. <laughs> he was left alone in the king's throne room. Suddenly, he remembered his emergency stash of comic Porn. books under the king's seat. Well, when the going gets tough, the tough read Dirt Drainhead. Someone said, what if there's a deep cut reference to this in the Mario movie? Whoa. Jesus. All right, that's a lot of lives. Good. Good for you. Um, there, What if someone, Chris Pratt, just calls him Toady? I saw the new Mario ad. We watched it uh, as soon as I started today. But, yeah, those are pretty good. I actually got a lot of enjoyment out of these. And I think as a kid, I would have loved it. Now, someone said, I had these as a kid. Are these really lost? 
I'm not sure if they're lost. That's why I put it in parentheses. That's that's how you kind of, you know, if you're not sure, just put something in parentheses. But the cassette, I have never even heard of. The tape was lost. That may be what happened. It's obscure. It's obscure. And um, someone said, check Twitter. I have a comic book full of them. Chat member, are you... Sending them to the right Twitter. It's at Vinny Vine Sauce, not Vine Sauce. But regardless, yeah, the... Um, oh, okay, I think we got it here. Yeah, so I don't know if these are... The tape um, might have been recently digitized. Oh, here we go. Look at that. The chat member did send it to the correct place, and it is a book full of them. Cool. And Captain N is in there too. And Metroid. Now that I would like to have. I would not mind. Not your copy, but if I could ever find that at some like scummy video game place. C Spicer in chat is the one who made the video and they gave some info on it. Okay, so um, got a little bit of info. I was the person that Uploaded and suggested this segment for Vinny to answer his question. Before I could be able to make a copy of the audio cassette myself, someone else on YouTube took care of it first. And it's exactly like the cassette I have listened to. They did an excellent job cropping each page to show the panel that's being read out in the cassette and move from one segment to another. But I assure you it's all official and read like it was real, like it was with a comic and cassette. It's more obscure and hard than hard to find than anything if you ask me. It's been two years since they uploaded the audio segment. Well, that was really good. Someone just said Coop Wireless. Is that Bowser's um is that Bowser's company? Well, thank you for that. I enjoyed that. Something different. And we learned some new lore and we got some more Mario Brothers from the, the old days, back when Mario's overalls were red. So, not bad. Um, real quick, my friend Dave made some music. I have a lot of Dave friends, not the Dave in chat. I mean, maybe he's in chat. Made some songs using my voice as a sound font on the drums. What the fuck just happened here? Chat, something just changed my... The color of my... What? Chat, my, my computer just got fucked up. Like, I loaded... I pressed the button. Oh, that's really weird. I used Media Player Classic to open that, and it just changed the color and resolution of my computer. And then I closed it, now it's okay. Here, here's another one. I think we're good now, chat. It's fine. So dumb. Very nice work. Uh, I did it again. I loaded the thing again. Hang on. I, gotta... I don't know why Media Player Classic changes your fucking resolution. I've never seen that before, ever. Screen flash, window graphics, that's your video card driver randomly shitting it. No. no, I mean, it's it's consistent when I load this one file with Media Player Classic.
Well, thank you for for this, Dave. It's truly awful. Well done. All right. Oh, uh, here's one more thing for the in-between. So this is, um, it takes an image and it turns it into a prompt, you know, like an AI prompt. So here's this image and the predicted prompt is an alien with a very long neck, realistic, high resolution, detailed 4K, 8K ray tracing, grainy nightmare. <laughs> that's so that's, that's what that thought it was. really really sick uh, I'm trying to find something to use for the weird game segment the weird one weird simulator weird hero I used to use weird dreams and then it got uh, weirdest thing that's good enough <laughs> 